Dean Obidala joins me now. He is a Daily Beast contributor and host of the Dean Obidala Show on Sirius XM. All right, Dean, so you're a comedian who has written yes. for SNL. What do you make of New York's treatment of these candidates? It certainly seems different from what you see in other states where these candidates have been campaigning. Well, well, the reality is the New York media market and the New York writers are probably the most vicious, lethal writers out there. They make Game of Thrones look like a romantic comedy. <laughs> so anyone who comes here, you have to have a thick skin like an alligator. You know, the mistake when Hillary Clinton couldn't use a turnstile, the people at Center Live, those are dreams come true. Those are little yeah. things that are funny to parody. Everyone laughs at it. And the added thing here in New York, the stakes are high because it actually matters this time, the Democratic-Republican primary. So from right. now to next Tuesday... Expect even more humor in the tabloids, cover after cover, making fun of these guys and the women. If they make one mistake, they're going to hear it. Yeah, and it's, I mean, some would say, oh, well, you, you know, I've had, I personally have had trouble getting through the turnstile, but if a presidential candidate does it like Hillary Clinton, it's made out into an SNL skit. Uh, I'm curious, you know, Bernie Sanders, born in Brooklyn, was out today looking for the classic Coney Island hot dog photo op. Let's take a look at that. I must have eaten five hot dogs and I was sick as a dog. <laughs> How do you take your hot dogs? It was very good. A little bit of mustard and salt. Ketchup and onions. We don't agree on anything but politics. <laughs> So you had, you know, Bernie Sanders there on Coney Island. You had Hillary Clinton yesterday eating cheesecake. Uh, do these, Dean, do these moments come off as sincere to voters in New York? I think in reality, in New York, we are so jaded, nothing seems sincere or organic at this point. You know, and if you're going to do things like New Yorkers now, you know, eating the hot dogs, one thing, and the pizza, that's old school. Go to what people are doing now. They're waiting on line for the halal cart, just two blocks from here, a huge line across the whole block. And if you're going to have the halal cart chicken shawarma, you got to put the white sauce on. If you don't, you're not a New Yorker. So if you're going to bond with us, do those things. You know, yell at tourists for walking slowly on the sidewalk. That'll make New Yorkers go... That person knows what my life is about. Give the hmm. finger to a cab driver who doesn't stop for you. That will impress New Yorkers because eating cheesecake and hot dogs and pizza, it's so old school, it's not impressive to us. So, you know, this isn't Hillary Clinton's first rodeo with dealing with New York media, obviously, as well as Donald Trump. But what advice would you give to these presidential candidates to be able to survive uh, the media scrutiny that they're under right now in New York? I think if you have... a uh, a, a, like a suit of armor, put that on. If not, if you have alligator skin, wear that. Don't read the headlines. Don't look at the Daily News headlines if you're Donald Trump or, or if you're a Democrat, the New York Post headlines. It's going to be vicious. It's something they've never seen before. Look at Ted Cruz. They said, go look take the FU train to him. I'm surprised the Daily News didn't write the words out at this point. That's how far we've gone. So mm -hmm. have a thick skin. Be honest and authentic with who you are. Be comfortable with who you are and just let the cards fall where they may. And as you point out with this, you know, headline right there, take the FU train, some in the New York media have not been too kind to Ted Cruz, should we say. The Texas senator, that's because he made that comment about New York values um, that he's catching flack for. So, you know, why is that? What exactly are New York values, Dean? I think New York values are uh, Northeastern American values are some of the best in the country. You know, we, we are a melting pot still. We're very beyond tolerant. We're accepting and embracing of other cultures and backgrounds and religions. Ted Cruz's campaign doesn't match up with that. So, yeah, he doesn't share our New York values because he doesn't have the same tolerance that we do and embracing of others. That's why he got yelled at in the South Bronx. And Ted Cruz, expect more of that. And yesterday, Donald Trump went to the 9-11 Museum didn't allow the press to go with him. People were tweeting, mocking him. And there were some media outlets were mocking him for never going to the 9-11 Museum before running for president just yesterday. So if it doesn't seem truthful, we're going to attack you. And if you're going to attack us in our city, we're going to come at you hard. You're lucky we don't have a baseball bat. It's a rough city. All right, Dean Abidala, I think you made your point loud and clear. Thank you very much for that. We do appreciate Thanks. it. Take care. And coming up on this Sunday, the